Have you ever wondered how the number system for German steam locomotives actually works? And why it is sometimes easy to understand, but very confusing at other times? Then wonder no more, as I will go through it from 01 to 99. Germany's modern number scheme was introduced in 1925 to properly organize the about 400 different locomotive classes inherited by the 1920 formed Deutsche Reichsbahn, the National Railway of Germany. The former state railways used number block systems that frequently led to numbers being identical and allowed for almost no transparency. The new numbers, and that is what makes them so incredibly useful, consist of two parts. A base number and a serial number. The base number, or in German Stammnummer, is made up by two digits, describing the type of locomotive. Separated through an empty space is a serial number, Ordnungsnummer, usually made up by three digits, allowing every locomotive a unique identifiable running number. But it is important to note that a single base number does not always equate to a single locomotive class in the sense of the German term Baureihe, often abbreviated BR, not to be confused with British Railways. But we will come back to that. Let's start simple and take a look at the overall structure of the number plan first. It is made up by two unsymmetrical halves. The base numbers 01 to 59 are reserved for tender locomotives and the base numbers 60 to 99 for tank locomotives. Following state railway tradition are the tender locomotives further divided into three groups. Express locomotives 01 to 19, regular passenger locomotives 20 to 39 and goods locomotives 40 to 59. While the new standard designs were sorted in at the lower end of the respective block were inherited locomotive designs numbered from the top down, which also includes those still built by the Reichsbahn those that came later from previously private operators or from occupied territories, as well as locomotives rebuilt from any of these groups. So basically anything non-standard. The express locomotives show this very well. While the standards were in this case chronologically, and not by size, classified from 01 to 06, where the inherited express locomotives with the largest wheel arrangement assigned the base number 19, and the smallest ones were still received a new number, 13. This way could later the Bundesbahn of West Germany call their new built express locomotives class 10. The leading one does therefore not necessarily indicate a non-standard. But you might have already guessed, the Reichsbahn inherited far more than seven different express locomotive classes. So where are all the others? While the new designs received unique base numbers, where the inherited ones grouped together based on their wheel arrangement. They can therefore only be differentiated by the number blocks within the serial number. So while the class O2 is exactly that, received the Bavarian S36, the new name, class 18.425. The base number 18 describes the wheel arrangement, a Pacific, and as this class occupies the 400 and 500 serial numbers, can it be singled out by writing 4 to 5 behind the base number. But as this is a class name and not a running number, are both parts not separated with an empty space, but either a full stop or the second part is raised. And now for some base numbers you might have never heard before. The base number 12 was added in 1938 for Austrian and later also Polish express locomotives, featuring wheel arrangements the Reichsbahn previously didn't have, despite all of them being much larger than the locomotives of the following base number 13. Even more irritating are the base numbers 07 and 08, introduced after the war by the East German Reichsbahn for two left behind French locomotives, breaking entirely with the original logic. But overall, the same rules apply also to regular passenger and goods locomotives. The non-standards take up the base numbers 39 to 33, once again top down for passenger locomotives and 59 to 51 for goods locomotives. The base numbers for new passenger designs, however, look rather messy due to numbers kept free for ultimately never built locomotives. Only 23 to 25 were ever used. For goods locomotives, all base numbers from 41 to 45 were eventually filled, 
this time neatly ordered by size, starting with the smallest, with the addition of 50 and 52, breaking with this neat order. And yes, we have an overlap with 52, but as the singular inherited locomotive that ever received that base number was long gone when the war locomotives came along, could it simply be reused? But before we continue with the tender locomotives, let's take a look at why and when four digit serial numbers were used, as there were a few different cases. As technology progressed and even the first standards were superseded, the intent of giving every standard a unique base number was somewhat bent. So kept for example, the further development of the class 01 its original base number, but its serial number received a fourth digit in the shape of a leading one. The lowest one was therefore 1001. Keep in mind that with base numbers containing multiple number blocks for different classes, the first and the second digit of four digit serial numbers are part of the class name. Thus is the class referred to as 01.10. While it would only be consequential to refer to the original class 01, now as class 01.022, does this usually not happen? Point 10 numbers weren't just used for updated locomotive designs though. A particular oddball in this regard is the experimental steam motor locomotive 19.10, which received the correct base number for its wheel configuration, but is actually part of the standard family. And also the aforementioned French locomotives of East Germany, which were experimentally rebuilt to burn pulverized coal, were classified as 07.10 and 08.10 respectively, despite there never having been a class 07.0 or 08.0. But four digit serial numbers were also used for locomotives intended to be withdrawn soon when the new number plan was introduced, receiving serial numbers of 7001 or higher, like the aforementioned class 52.70. But a fourth digit was also used when three were simply not enough which was often the case with goods locomotives, like the Prussian G8.1, which turned into the class 55.25 to 56,58. And no, I can't remember these from the top of my head either. However, the locomotives of the same base number with serial numbers below 1000 do not receive a leading zero. Their serial numbers remain three digit. You're still with me? Good. Then let's talk about tank locomotives and get a brief overview first. The base number 60 to 79 are used for passenger locomotives and 80 to 96 for goods locomotives. The remaining three base numbers are reserved for special groups. More on that later. Even though express locomotives do not get their own base number range, becomes it obvious that an attempt was made to sort the passenger locomotives by size with the mainline locomotives being classified as 61 and 62 and the branchline locomotives 64 and 71.0. The later one once again overlaps with this time still in service non-standards, which take up the base numbers from 79 all the way down to 68. Three 1936 built previously privately operated streamlined locomotives, which came to the Reichsbahn in 1938 were assigned the base number 60. While it breaks with the number plan's logic, does it to a certain degree make sense, as also the class 61 is streamlined. Quite the opposite order can be found with the goods locomotives though, where the classes 80 and 81 are small shunters, while the classes 82 to 87 are all much larger. But then there is the smallest of them, the shunting locomotive 89.0 overlapping with still in service non-standards again, which range from 96 down to 88. And now to the in my opinion most interesting and lovable but also most frustrating groups to model and research. All the obscure and quirky local locomotives. 97 is the base number for rack locomotives, 98 for all standard gauge branch line classes with only regional prevalence, and 99 for all narrow gauge locomotives. The narrow gauge locomotives are extra special, as for them, the first two digits of three digit serial numbers and the first three digits of four digit serial numbers have to be stated to allow for a precise differentiation. What might seem to be a big mess at first, 
was the most practical thing to do. Most of these groups classes were very small and did not leave, in many cases couldn't even leave the home lines anyway. So a clear classification was not really needed and would have only taken up additional base numbers better used for more widespread locomotive classes. It is however not true that locomotives of these groups were at the time this number plan was introduced generally expected to be withdrawn soon. All three groups contain locomotives built after 1920. While rack railways were more and more phased out, could not all lines yet be handled by conventional traction, rail buses were far from serial production and narrow gauge lines wouldn't go anywhere anytime soon. Congratulations and pat yourself on the shoulder, you made it all the way to the end. I'm fully aware this was quite a heavy video, but one that was requested a lot. The bad news is that there is still more to German locomotive numbers. As so far we haven't talked about computer numbers for steam locomotives, yes they existed, or modern traction locomotives at all. But it makes more sense to save these topics for another day. If you still have any questions, leave them in the comments below and maybe I can answer them. A big thank you goes to my channel members, including Contrian, Dave Heise, Flip Schwip, Kay Frankly, Lukas Ilskens, Martin Wigikan and Steamy Player for making this video possible. See you in the next one!